Becoming Imbogoto is proudly brought to you by Castle Free. Win tickets to Cape Town 7s. Enter today at Castle Free SA. Join the conversation. the start of the new week and the contracted seven Springbok players join the Imbogoto rookies. How will that play out? Will there be a smooth amalgamation of the two groups? Only time will tell. A lot of girls that have gone home now. Uh, we're only a handful left. Uh, the contracted ladies have joined us as well, which really upped the tempo, upped the intensity. I think everyone felt that they had to step up because obviously we have to fit in with the team um, and adapt with them if we want to prove ourselves at the end of the day. Um, I'd say the standard is really high for us, especially coming into, you know, the camp because they expect us to be on a really good level. We see now I want to draw coaches' uh, attention. I want to, I want to make sure that uh, I become the best and learn as much as I can. Um, you know, my goal, I really do hope to be selected, but if not, you know, then I'm going to go back home. I'm going to work extra hard. Defenders will decide which colors they're going to be on. I'll be on the blue, pink, or yellow. When they've decided, then I'll say go, and you attack. Go! So very, very happy to have our extended squad back. You know, the ladies are, are really quality. They've had a nice kind of week and a half break. Feeling good. It's nice to, to play with the older girls. Go! Whitley, change hands. How are you going to hand off with the ball in that hand? Has no one ever taught you that before? So when you turn around, see what, they, what they're doing, because they still have to stay on their cones. They can't move yet. Oh. So then you make your decision, can come flatter and the wing can also come flatter. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, so what did we do well? In this little bit now. Call me nothing. What did we do well? Good luck. At first, we, we, didn't, we were not communicating <laughs> well, but then it was... We get used to it, we were communicating, because I remember at first I wasn't saying anything, and then they told me talk, and then I started talking. What else did you do well? When we were decisive and going forward, then we went forward, so we made our decisions. Um, so decision making was good. So what do you, what's the only thing you have to do when you turn around? Look and see where the space is. Okay, so now, like I said, we're going to ramp it up. Did you practice your passing this weekend? Yes, coach. Did you? Yes. Did you practice your passing this week? We did, yeah. How many times? Um, we were in the room because it was running outside, so we were like, passing at, at the passage. We were only doing that. I didn't count, but we were just using it. Did you practice your passing this week? I did, good. Okay. So for me, you guys know you can't pass. How many passing sessions we did last week? did we do last week? Three. How many passing sessions have you done in your life? Just passing sessions. Zero. So now you've done 300% more than you normally do. And now you're going to come and pass like this. Do you guys understand that? 
Now you're with National Plans. I'm not waiting for you guys. It's ramp up time now. It's go time. If you guys want to make it, then you show us that you're going to make it. Told you from the beginning, you need to fit in here and you need to add value. I'm not waiting around for you guys. All right, so let this be a warning. Nice on a Monday morning. It's supposed to be a nice, fun, easy drill and I don't even get the basics right. More, I think it was a really good speed session. And this thing for me, we always, we always like a diesel engine when it comes to rugby. And that's, that's our first priority. So that's why I was quite hard on the ladies now. I said, we can't wait and be shouted at to switch on every time. The exercises that we do here, they, they're too much for me. Like, I'm not used to working this much. Everything's like my body. It's like I've never worked before. Uh, my goal here is to just give it my all and, um, you know, really prove to myself that um, I can be on the highest level. Um, since all the contracted girls have joined us, um, the level of the training, it has been intense now. We more, obviously, the fits, we're doing a lot of runnings. I mean, everything is fast. We're rushing, rushing everything, so it's a bit different. There's no rest when you want to represent the Springboks on an international level. After the defense session, the woman follow that up with a bit of training in the gym. We're going to get nice and close from here. Going to throw against the wall. Throw. Yep. Throw that on the edge. Land in the middle. Okay. And again, you're landing like a... Ninja, solid landing. Not here, here. Land how you start. Watch, stop there, land there. Up. Good work. Much better. Okay, so upper body, pull ups, bench press. The intensity was great and the vibe was there between the ladies, so that's always a positive. It's amazing to see such a big group. It's the first time that the circle is that big at training and, you know, it's good to see that all the ladies are working hard. The intensity is extremely high. <laughs> you guys are not going in there for one month. Conditioning one month. Becoming Invogoto is proudly brought to you by Castle Free. Mmm. You know what would go well with that grilled cheese? A Castle Free. What? At this time? Yeah, man. Anytime. That's the one. Even now. Even now. This guy gets it. But Mr. Uchele and I. This is Katsai, oh boy. It's now a good time. Probably the best time. My man. We got sale and free the nation. Becoming Invogoto is proudly brought to you by Castle Free, the perfect lager for pioneers, for game changers, for trailblazers, and for Invogoto. Castle Free, Zanzi's first alcoholic free lager. It's the first day of training where the contracted Sevens athletes and the newcomers from Camp Imbogoto are together. Let's hear how it's going. And the camp, it's, it's more exciting now because the contracted girls have joined us. And we're feeling pressure, but we're learning a lot. So with the contracted ladies being here, um, everything's up now. Uh, the vibe's changed a little bit, especially amongst the Imbogoto girls as well. Um, I think we're a lot more serious now in terms of what, we, what we're here to do. Really nice to see that we're all getting along really well, quickly actually, so it's nice to make um, new friends. I am trying my best to adapt to all of this because we, we, we do repetitions of everything that we do, so every time I have to like, mentally remind myself, no, no, I have to be there, I have to be this side. It's like learning a language. You can't you can, like, be taught a language in one day, and then in the next three days you know how to speak it. Uh -uh. But I'm trying. 
Um, there are some of the contracted ladies that were very welcoming to us. Um, with that said, I think there are a few girls that are a little bit colder towards us. Um, I think maybe it's a little bit of competition, friendly competition. The contracted girls have welcomed us a lot. They, they very happy to help us with the things that we lack in. The contracted athletes set a competitive high standard and nothing shows that more than a contact defense session. Welcome in Bogoto ladies. Everyone will be walking around, passing the ball. Passing the ball, passing the ball. Okay, so we have to race to get there. Whoever doesn't get there is out. Okay, then we take a ball out. But listen, there's one twist, so boo-boo go down. Ellie clean, who's the scrum off in? Scrum off in, Lulu. So if it's there, Maggie, if you're there, you counter. So if you're late, but you get one go, one go, out. Okay, ready? Let's go. Strong, push the ball into the ground. So put your hands there, there. Push, push the ball into the ground, okay? So my name is Martha and Simmers. I'm 31 years old and I'm from Nysna. My rugby career started in school. Uh, we, uh, I was in grade 11 and then a few of us, a few of us girls decided we want to start a rugby club. So we actually started from scratch and then we just built on from there. At the moment, I do have an injury, a rib fracture. I'm into three weeks now, so I'm still working on my fitness, so all feet cardio, basically on the bike and stuff. But I like to be involved with the girls, so I don't like sitting there and just moping. So where I can help, I will, I will help. Uh, rugby has taught me a few lessons, so you have to be disciplined and you have to compromise, sacrifice a lot of things. So it's really hard work to be here and actually get to play on this level. I don't want arms on the bag. Look at look up who it's the bag. So yeah, be smart. So your knees are on, yeah? And then you're gonna act like you're stealing the ball, okay? And all Boo-Boo's gonna do is when she gets in here, here's her target. Okay, so have a look what Boo-Boo does. She's gonna get the bag away. Just hit it, Boo. So hit it with your shoulder, hit it. Boom, get it away, get it away, and then you and then you're in. Okay, I want intensity here. Only four each. Two on each shoulder. Happy? Let's go in our groups of four. That's it, Miggy. That's it, Lusanda. That's it. So watch, watch what's going to happen when I do what you guys do. So Libby, just act like you're going to steal a ball. So I'm going to, so I'm going to make a clean here, right? Boom! Get up, up. Now Libby's. Now I'm stuck here. Okay. Stay there. So if you have to throw that bag away, you get that bag away, and then you're in there, and you're up, and you take that space. Look at my levers again. Can you get in here? Can you get in here? Yeah. Okay. So watch your levers. Stay low, I don't want to see a change in your body height. So Rusi's gonna play you, so we'll walk through it. So Rusi attack, play right see. Go any move, across, move. Step a weak shoulder, step between them. Weak shoulder, weak shoulder, down. Then I'm gonna clean, then I'm gonna try and steal. And there's the cleaner. Okay, so you two, get physical. Awesome. Guys, stop, stop, stop. I want someone to step a weak shoulder. So, so give me the ball. So you get the ball, so let's go we'll play me. Close it up, come up, boom, go through. Then I'm gonna go to ground and I want to steal her here. Straight away. Okay, you can either beat her or you can go to ground. You figure it out. Make it hard for them. I am Bukhlewe Tsunamzi. Um, I'm from PE in the location in Tizuide. My passion for rugby it started in high school while I was an April player before, and they introduced um, rugby in 2013, if I'm correct. And I wasn't interested at first, but a friend of mine just said to me, just come to, you know, 
own practice, surely you enjoy it. And it was a bit of a struggle, but I went and after that it was, I enjoyed it. <laughs> and then the following week I had my first game and that's where the career started. When it comes to playing rugby, you know, it's not about size, it's not about height. I'm, I mean, I'm the shortest in the team. So it's not about size or height. I mean, it's all about the heart and, you know, putting yourself out there and, you know, believing in yourself and that's where things just work out. Okay, so here's the fighting contact. So we're playing in this space here. Okay, so how it's gonna work is, so Lusanda is gonna pass the ball to Naya. You guys just have to beat the two of them. What's gonna work is, what's gonna happen? So Lusanda, pass the ball, then you're gonna roll. So pass the ball, roll, down and roll. Then you have to get away from me. Okay, you have to get away from me. While you guys are attacking, so attack. Bubu, attack. You have to beat the two of them, go through. Lucy will plug the hole, get your gun, and he will steal. Go Lusanda. Do the third one, get there quickly. So it speeds to the breakdown, okay? So Okay, good move, well done. I thought the new girls definitely kept up today, and it's good. So we'll see tomorrow because often the next day is the test. Uh, today was quite tough. I think very unexpected for them on a Monday. We normally have very easy Mondays. Proudly brought to you by Castle Free. Mmm, you know what would go well with that grilled cheese? A castle free. What? At this time? Yeah, man. Anytime. That's the one. Even now. Even now. Tastes like beer. Because it is beer. Nice to stop, Sam. Give up it. Wait, will I even remember this? Yes, young love. Yes, you will. Becoming Imbogodo is proudly brought to you by Castle Free, the perfect lager for cup games, for friendly games, for away games, and for home games. Castle Free, Zansi's first alcoholic free lager. After a great day of training, there's unfortunately some bad news. I'm good, and you? Yeah. Um, so, I'm not sure if a doc told you already, but um, I tore one of the ligaments in my ankle, so um, it's not looking really good at the moment. I'll probably be out for about, I think, six weeks. Yeah, doc, yeah, doc, doc let us know. Um, yeah, so as long as you've, you've got that brace, eh? mm. it's yeah, good we have, have the it. scan, so we can, we'll, we'll have a treatment program. So, I chatted to Rigi earlier. Um, so, we'll just make sure, so you said what, uh, Two weeks off your feet, and yeah. then we can and yeah, then we, we can, can come up with a plan. With it, yeah. Okay, perfect. Oh, Kimi, so just really important. Please take it easy. Take your two weeks. Make sure you're in that speed brace. Yeah. If it's really sore, get in touch with Doc, and we can give you crutches or whatever, um, just to make sure you're okay. Anti-inflammatories or whatever you need. Yeah. Um, and then your sham. I know it's not. It's definitely not <laughs> the way the way we want anything to happen. But this is rugby, and it's a contact yeah. sport, and these things happen. You know, you are you're a quality athlete and a quality person. Um, mm -hmm. You'll definitely bounce back from this. So this is just a, I think it's a little memento and a small token of our appreciation for being part of the pioneer class of becoming in Bukoro 2019. There you go. There you go. Thank you. I really planned on, you know, performing this week and giving my all, but um, I saw the doctors this morning and um, they said it was a grade two uh, sprain, which is not really what I wanted to hear. But, um, you know, these things happen in rugby. Even with one less Imbogoto athlete in the mix, the all-important coach's feedback needs to happen. Uh -huh. Hi, Lulu. My gosh. How are you? I'm good, thanks. And yourself? How are you feeling after a long day on your feet today? 
<laughs> my legs are sore. They're sore, huh? Yeah, it's, it's been a long week for you. Yes, gosh. That's okay, that's okay. Lulu, I mean, so from my side, I think, you know, for you to have come this far, I think you've done very well. I've been very impressed with your attitude towards trying to get stuck in and do all that you have to do. Thanks, uh, gosh. You've stayed calm under pressure. You've tried to push yourself. You've gone out there and you've tried to keep up with everyone, so I think that's very good. Those are the kind of characteristics we're looking for in a player. Uh, I think the only thing which is concerning me is just your cardiovascular fitness. I think on your yo-yo test, you scored 15-7. Uh, Ideally, we want you to be, you know, in the higher 16s, especially for someone who's possibly going to be a playmaker. You need to focus on getting your cardiovascular fitness up. We're very happy to provide you with the program. The main thing you need to do is to actually to do the work. Uh, and it's very easy for us to see if you're not doing the work. You know, when you're on the field and you can't keep up with the game, uh, it will be very evident. Lulu, so from a rugby perspective also, we've been very impressed. I think you learn very quickly, which is good. Obviously, we're going to continue to be hard on you uh, in terms of the fundamental skills. You need to get your passing up, you need to get your catching up. Uh, but in terms of your game sense, very, very happy. All right, just remember, once we've shown you or told you something once, you need to be aware of that, okay, and you need to implement. But in saying that, we're very happy to tell you that you're staying, all right, you're not going home, and just keep on keep on impressing us and, and everyone here. Thanks, right. Gosh. I just came out from the coach's feedback. I must work on my passing. I have to work a little bit more on my yo-yo test. Hello, Nagbona. How are you doing? Good. You're okay? So I know you've had some problems, some shin splints, and uh, you know, I know it's been difficult for you to push the sessions. So I think it's been very good that you've been able to, you know, push through even under the, the, the circumstances, meaning that you're in pain and such, and you've been spending some time with the physio. So I think from outside, it's shown that you've had some determination. Going forward, uh, the things that I'd like you to look at is your upper body strength. I think with the pull-ups that we did yesterday, you could have you know, possibly done more. But I think we need to spend some more time working on your fitness, working on upper body strength. Uh, so even though you did better than you did last week, I think you can still do better. So what we'll keep on working with you is just, just your awareness and your decision making, okay? Decision making at the breakdown, breakdown, speed to the breakdown, just your body position, okay? We'll keep working on your levers and things because you have, you've got that physical prowess, you're strong, you actually embrace the contact, you enjoy it. So let's just, we'll just, show up the, the technical side of things. In the sessions, I just want you to put yourself under a bit more pressure in terms of your game sense. Okay, get a bit deeper, I want your hips square, look up, be able to make passes, but just know for now, just keep smiling, okay, keep working, keep putting yourself under pressure. We like the fact that you want to get better, Bongs, okay, we know you want to get better. And we've both been, or everyone here has been so impressed with you, so keep enjoying yourself, right? Yeah. All right. Cool, have Thank a good you. one. So I was so stressed, but I don't want to lie, I am so happy. Hi, Libby. Hello, Libby, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Good, good, good. How are you feeling after today's sessions? I'm feeling good. So, like, I mean, from my side, at least from the fitness side, I must say I've been very impressed with the work that you've been putting forward. You have been giving a good effort. Uh, you've been very competitive. You know, uh, your score today on the yo-yo was 17-8, which is very impressive. You did better than you did last time, yeah. which was nice because you had people that you're mm. working with who yeah. also pushed a little bit more. So I was very impressed to see that you're competitive. Hi, hey. No clear. How are you? <sighs> you're a bit um, tired? I am. So far, I think you've done well. I think the only thing, though, that we need to work on is probably making you a little bit stronger and more robust. I think slowly but surely your body's falling apart here and there, aches and pains here and there. Yeah. So your shoulder hasn't been able to keep up, especially once you started the contact sessions. Yeah. The only thing which I think I was concerned with uh, actually is two things. One, I think you need to improve your upper body strength. I know you've had a shoulder injury. Uh, so from my side, it's a matter of learning to manage that. The number yeah. of pull-ups you did was not as good as I would have mm. hoped you would have done. But did the yo-yo test as well. I think one of your, your scores was on the lower side. So I really would like you to find yourself in a situation where you're working hard on getting your fitness up there. But also in today's session as well, I think you almost blew yourself out of the water. 
mm. because you got some cramps on the field. Yeah. Don't put yourself in a situation where you're going to blow yourself out the water because mm. now you're running as fast as you can every single time. Yeah. But the problem is what happens if you don't last the session? Yeah. And what happens if you have a soft tissue injury as a result mm. of you <clears throat> primarily going out there and thinking, okay, you want to go out there and show everyone. So from yeah. my side, I think it's important to be smart Thank how you, you pace really yourself. Okay. It was a, a big thing for us for you to have made it through that contact session yesterday yeah. afternoon so well. Yeah. And you obviously okay. you're not going anywhere. We enjoying having you here. Um, so rest up well. I think that's a big thing now. Mm. You just you have to be technically sound in the in the contact. All right, and I'm going to continue to be hard on you there. We're happy that you managed this through the session yesterday, but you have to get better. All right, once yeah. we've spoken about something, I can't remind you about it again. There's nothing wrong with making mistakes. It's the only way we learn. Okay. It's how quickly we learn from those mistakes. All right, so keep enjoying yourself. Keep that smile on your face. Be ready for Thursday to hit the ground running. Thank you. Right. Okay. I'll see you Thursday. Take yeah. care. Okay. Can't Cheers. wait. Okay. <laughs> like I thought they were sending me home. That's the only thing I had because I made a lot of mistakes. But then they told me that you are allowed to make mistakes. I've been around for quite a bit and I've been trying to prove myself for many years. So hence why I will keep pushing myself. On that note of pushing yourself, join us next week as the preparation for the Cape Town Sevens takes a step up and the athletes start vying for positions in the final Springbok team. Becoming Imbogoto is proudly brought to you by Castle Free. Win tickets to Cape Town Sevens Enter today at Castle Free SA. Join the conversation.